Hello and welcome back to Storytime at Nana's House. So good to have you here once again. We're going to share it now. It is called Dinner on the Mingos. This book right here was written by Alexandra Katana and illustrated by Claudia Navarro. Also, this book was published by my friends over at Barefoot Books. Here we go. Every Sunday, I head to Abuelito's Casa for dinner with my familia, my huge extended family. Before I'm even a step inside, here comes Blanco. Then I'm hit by the smell of onions and garlic. Is Abuelita making pokero tonight? I love her potato soup. Soup is so good when it's cold outside. La cochina is painted a bright cornflower blue. Abuelita says it reminds her of the Ecuadorian sky. Michigan is full of gray days and cold nights. Mija, says Abuelita. She cups my face in her warm hands. They smell like garlic. La comida siempre nos lleva a casa, she smiles. I wish I had the words to answer. Food always leads us home, she translates, and sneaks me a taste of local. Kitchen is for cooking food. Our grandmothers made us and sauteing chabalas and passing the phone around to chat with faraway family. One by one, my tios and tias, primos and primas, burst through the door. The house grows louder and louder, fuller and fuller. Kids laugh, dogs bark, and pots clang. I run downstairs where all my primos are playing. It smells like mildew and fresh laundry. Three, two, one, ready or not, here I come, shouts my primo Juan. This basement is for mischievous plotting and exploring dust-covered boxes and making up new games with silly rules. Está listo, shouts Abuelita, clapping through the noise. We all move quickly to the table, even the adults. She says, una orza, and always mentions Abuelito, the love of her life. This dining room is for remembering our loved ones and blowing out birthday candles and looking through Tio Charlie's photo albums. We spill over on couches and squish together. We talk and tell jokes and sneak Blanco a taste. See, they're giving Blanco the dog a little bit of food. Just a little bit. And when we dive in for more, Abuelita always smiles. When we're full, her heart is too. But sometimes we tease each other too much. Emotions build and grow and expand until it feels like the room is going to explode. Basta! yells Abuelito when she's had enough with a stern face and a sparkle in her eye. I think she thinks it's too loud. Do you see her covering her ears? Sometimes when we cover our ears, it helps. And there's loud noises. Bulito puts on a record and it slowly starts to spin around and around. This living room is for piling presents to the ceiling on Christmas Eve and playing loteria and board games and spreading out blankets for cousin sleepovers. Her calloused hands grab mine. Her feet bounce to the rhythm. She leads. She always does. My shoes keep finding their way on top of a 
Polito's feet. Lo siento, I confess in my American accent. I wish I spoke more Spanish. So does Nana. Trying to learn, but please thank you for your patience. Abuelito raises her head to the sky and laughs, making her bright eyes squint and her round belly shake up and down. Her hair tickles my eyes and she kisses me on the forehead. Muy bien, Alexandra, she smiles. She knows I'm trying. I wrap my arms around Abuelito's waist and squish my face into the crook of her neck. Te quiero, Abuelito, I say as best as I can. whispers my primo Dina into my ear, and something shiny catches my eye. It's the gin, we shout together. I grab Dina's hand and we all rush out back to play, taking over the alley. This home is for pressing plantanos into tostones and feeding pajaros from the porch and celebrating new baby cousins. Maybe someday I'll have gray hair and wisdom to share. And a warm house with pots full of food, a house hungry for memories. Esta casa. This magical home turns in a normal Sunday into Domingo, the best day of the week. Oh my goodness. And that's okay. Da -da -da. Nana was looking to see if they had the words in Spanish printed in the back to help with pronunciations or for explanation. Dinner on Domingos. Oh my goodness, I enjoyed that story and I hope that you did as well. But now it's time for me to go, my friends. But before I do, I just want to encourage you to continue letting your light shine by being kind. Because in a world where we can be anything we want to, please, please just be kind. Thanks again for stopping by. Until next time, take care of yourselves. God bless you. And always, always, always remember that this Nana right here loves you. Until next time. <laughs>